I learned a valuable lesson just growing up and um, uh, how important it is um, to work hard. It's an exhilarating feeling when you know you've accomplished something because you worked your butt off at it. Everything that I've gotten to this point in my life has been because of uh, my relentless work ethic. I'd say I've been fortunate to have a lot of role models from my parents to my high school coaches to even guys that that I grew up with and really the, the one thing I've learned from all of them that have been successful is that there's no there's no sacrifice, there's no uh, there's no substitute for hard work. I mean you need to get to work early, you need to stay late and there's no easy way to be successful and that's I think what we try to instill in our players here and I know all the coaches on our staff believe in that with how hard we coach and recruit and everything you do every day needs to be the best of your ability and then you can go to bed at night knowing you did a good job but you gotta do it again tomorrow. I had a third grade teacher um, that I can remember, Mr. Dillard, was the first one, probably one of the first male figures that talked to me, talked to me about you know learning to you know to be confident and when you meet someone shake their hand, look them in the eye and then those types of things. Uh, it's gonna have to be from my dad and uh, hard work works. Very simple but uh, Always work hard and um, you know stick to those uh, you know that principle of working hard and uh, you know everything else kind of fall into place. The biggest lesson I've probably learned in my life, and this comes from just being around a family who is God fearing, is just to have faith. You know what I mean? And, and like from day to day and everything, you know, don't get too high with the high, too lows with the lows. Understand that if you have faith in, in what's going on, you're gonna be you're gonna be all right. You're all the guys I've been around, you know. It both playing, growing up, and then being around great coaches as a coach is there's always a way, there's always an angle, there's always a chance. You know, never give up, never, never concede that you can't, you can't win or you can't find a way to be better. Well, first impressions are lasting impression, and how you carry yourself, how you present yourself, is all about a, a sense of pride, and dignity, and that's something that I, I hold dear to the heart. And I learned as a young man, not only from my teachers and coaches. But my grandfather, my mother's dad, he was, he was a hard-working blue-collar guy. And he always talked about, you know, having your shirt, shirt tucked in, you know, looking guys in the eye when you're talking to them. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. That's that first impression. Just to always go all out in everything that you do. Um, Ray Haley, my high school football coach, uh, was a great influence on me. And, and it was just about, uh, you know, always giving your best and, and going out all out and everything that you do. Once you get to college, you kind of get the, that's where you really get the learning and meeting certain coaches that really affect you along the way. And the guy we had here was a guy by the name of Joe Pate. He coached me for three years at linebacker and he had some of the most classic sayings ever. Um, I know them, I love to hear them, so I brought my boy Thunder Dan here with me to to go over some of these sayings that Coach Pate used to give us. Uh, the very first one was, I don't mean to be ugly. Now, Clayton, I don't mean to be ugly. Now, sometimes the stuff is your fault and my fault. <laughs> but you're going to have to get your butt going and get ripping and snoring here. You got me? Yes, sir. The next one was called the light rumble. Now, Clayton, we got this young linebacker coming in. They call him Thunder Dan. Now, what I've seen is more like a light rumble to me. You tell me what you think. <laughs> yes, sir. I will, I'll definitely let you know, Coach. <laughs> the next one is called from 220 to 219. Now, now, Clayton, I've been been watching you at practice a little bit, and you seem like you're a little bit heavy. How much you weighing, Clayton? I'm like 220, Coach, right now. Maybe let's see if we can get you down to 219. 219? 219 okay. will I, be a little bit better weight for you. I you think I can get that done, Coach. Yeah, there we go then. Hey, that's the first time his stuff is on tape, man. <laughs> oh, it's like 10 more, man. Yeah.